My name is E. Madi Bandam. So I was born in this house actually back 1945. My father was a dancer, a choreographer, and also an artist direct director. And he was teaching me all the dancing that I know today. Classical Balinese dance actually, including the mass dance drama, it is very expressive one, very expressive one. My father, when he was teaching me dancing first in that hall before sleeping every night, and then he asked me how to open my eyes as large as I can, just like this here. And from this part, and he asked me how to flick my eyes, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, glancing eyes around like this. And then I can stop and cross my eyes. And then I can flirt, left to right, yeah, like that. And then you put jerking head movement, at least one hour per night, like that. Yeah, very hard training. So speaking about this mass, this mass is a king mass. Uh, all mass has an attribute. We perform with some weapon. It's called dagger, Chris over here. This is the attribute of this kind of king when they perform like that. Secondly, we speak about the aesthetic of the mass, size of the mass, yeah? Uh, there are many different sizes of the mass, big mass, middle size, and the small one. This is considered like a small mass, actually. Proportion of the eyes, of course, is uh, very important to denote. White and greenish color denote nobility. The mustache is very, you know, smaller than other mass. For a king style, they use, they show only four kind of teeth. This mass is a present from last king of Bangli, the Agung Murah, to my father. King of Bangli, very famous for a uh, mess maker. The word taksu came from chaksu. The Sanskrit called taksu is a ray of the eyes, sinar mata. Everyone in the dance, their goal is to become a dancer and get a taksu. Taksu is charisma, stayed present. Elighted body. You are not the same person when you perform like that. You can transform yourself into different characters. So anything you do when you walk and everything needs supposed to be turned out for Balinese dancing. So when we speak like this as a strong character, we have about two steps away like that. And then you put the hand like this and it's all for the soldier like this. The most important thing is the distribution of energy because the energy is very important one in the Balinese dancing. You control it, you distribute it, whether going to your eyes, strong, or to hand, or to your foot. If you want to chain, uh, there's a changing movement like this. Two, four, six, eight. You chain already from uh, right standing position to left standing position. And you again want to chain? Two, four, six, eight. You have some variation. This is a costume for the topeng dancing. Mostly strong, refined character. This is called Klang Kano, Kang Kano. But they have also jacket, all different colors of jacket. White process, legging over there. And then train is very important. The kanchut, the kind, the clothes, making the train. Because it's related to the movement also. You can kick, you can sweep like that for the the beauty of the dance, you know, for variation like this. When we can preserve, make a documentation, or through performances, it will become a resource for a new development, for a new creativity, for classical, or even for the contemporary elements of the tradition like this, you know. Because you, know, you cannot avoid change. That preservation, conservation, is very important still in this case.